A level measurements transmitter is an instrument providing continuous level measurements. It can be used to determine the level of liquid or bulk solid at a particular time. Level transmitter provide an electrical output proportional to the level of a liquid or bulk solid in a confined space. Levels of media such as water, viscous fluids, and fuels, or dry media such as bulk solids, and powders can be measured using the transmitter. The working principle of level transmitter varies according to the underlying principle of various types. For instance, capacitance level transmitter operate through a capacitor. Hydrostatic level transmitters depend on the pressure of a fluid in a storage container for level measurements. While, ultrasonic level transmitter converts the distance traveled by an ultrasonic wave to determine the level. However, all these level transmitters measure the level in either of the three ways the weight of the fluid, the pressure head of fluid, the position of the fluid in a container. There are two main classification for level transmitter, point level transmitter and continuous level transmitter. Point level transmitters are designed to indicate whether a liquid has reached a specific point in a container. Continuous level transmitter on the other hand, are used to render precise liquid level measurements. Types of level transmitter. Level transmitters are of six types. Each types of transmitter works in a different way and makes it useful for different purpose. 1. Hydrostatic level transmitter. 2. Magnetic level transmitter. 3. Capacitance level transmitter. 4. Ultrasonic level transmitter. 5. Guided microwave level transmitter. 6. Radar fill level transmitter. Hydrostatic level transmitter. A hydrostatic level transmitter is a submersible pressure transmitter that measures the hydrostatic pressure which is proportional to the measured liquid height. Consisting of a pressure measuring cell and a pressure diaphragm, where the inner side of the diaphragm is vented to atmospheric pressure through a vent tube in the cable and the outside in contact with the liquid. The sensor reacts to changes in level by measuring the static pressure of the liquid column above the transmitter. The static pressure is basically caused by the weight of the fluid on top of the transmitter and is used to calculate the level of the liquid which is then converted by the level sensor into an analog electrical output signal. The higher the liquid level, the higher the measured pressure. The simplicity of using a hydrostatic level transmitter makes it the instrument of choice where levels needs to be measured. In most cases, it is suspended by the cable to the desired level of measurements or just submerged and allowed to sink to the bottom of the medium. There are two different methods of measuring hydrostatic level transmitter by relative pressure and by differential pressure. Advantages of hydrostatic level transmitter. Direct contact with the medium. Level measurements unaffected by vessel geometry and existing installed equipment. Simple installation and operation of submersible pressure transmitters and conventional pressure sensor without need for calibration and adjustment. Robust measuring process not influenced by disruptive factors such as dust, foam, vapor, contaminants etc. Not affected by many physical characteristics, such as conductivity, dielectric coefficient or viscosity. Disadvantages of hydrostatic level transmitter. Not suitable for bulk material. Accurate measurements requires either media with constant density, or continuous density measurements of the medium. Magnetic level transmitter. A magnetic level transmitter is a continuous float level transmitter or sensor that provides near real-time level measurements by creating compacting magnetic field to generate a signal corresponding to liquid level. A magnetic level transmitter involves the use of a permanent magnet sealed inside a float whose rise and fall causes the opening or closing of a mechanical switch either through direct contact or in proximity of a reed switch. The magnetic float level transmitter is composed of three main components. 1. A hollow stem containing a waveguide made from ferromagnetic material which is suspended in the liquid being measured. 2. A hollow float which contains the permanent magnet moves with the surface of the liquid up and down the stem. The third component is the device electronics which produces an electromagnetic pulse at predetermined interval. This pulse travels down the waveguide creating its own magnetic field. When this pulse reaches the float, the conflicting magnetic field creates vibration in the waveguide, causing a strain pulse to propagate back up the waveguide at known speed. 
The strain pulse is detected by a component of the electronics that convert the mechanical energy into an electronic signal. An electronic chips then measure the time lapse between the initial pulse and the returning strain pulse, thus determining the distance between the device electronics and the float with a high degree of accuracy. Advantages of magnetic level transmitter greatly increased visibility can be easily retrofitted into current level chamber continues to operate even in an event of electrical power failure disadvantages of magnetic level transmitter it can only work if the auxiliary column and floats are made of non-magnetic materials the anti-interference ability is poor therefore not recommended to be used in places with strong electromagnetic radiation range constraints Capacitance Level Transmitter A capacitance level transmitter is a type of level sensor that measured the change in capacitance that occurs as the tank level changes. A simple capacitors consist of two electrode plate separated by a small thickness of an insulator such as solid, liquid, gas or vacuum. The insulator is called dielectric. An insulated electrode acts as one plate of capacitor and the tank wall or reference electrode in a non-metallic vessel act as the other plate. The capacitance of the level transmitter is measured with dielectric constant of the medium, the distance between the capacitors, and the area of sensor. Any change in level causes a capacitance change which is in turn converted into a level signal. An empty tank has a lower capacitance, and a filled tank has a higher capacitance. The method of level measurement is sometimes called radio frequency level sensor, after radio frequency is applied to the capacitor's circuit. Advantages of capacitance level transmitter. Mechanically simple with no moving parts and minimal required maintenance. They are well suited for both point and continuous level measurements. Resistant to agitation. Disadvantages of capacitance level transmitter. Dielectric variations causes errors. Calibration is not easy. Changes in vapor space may affect output. Ultrasonic level transmitter. An ultrasonic level sensor is an instrument that measures the distance to an object using ultrasonic sound waves. Continuous non-contacting ultrasonic level measurement is based on the time of flight principle. An ultrasonic level transmitter measures the time between sound energy transmitted from the sensor to the surface of the measured material and the echo returning to the sensor. An ultrasonic level transmitter is mounted on the top of the tank and transmits an ultrasonic pulse down into the tank. As the speed of sound is known through the travel medium at a measured temperature, this pulse, traveling at the speed of sound is reflected back to the transmitter from the liquid surface. The transmitter measures the time delay between the transmitted and received echo signal. The time of flight of the reflected ultrasonic signal is directly proportional to the distance levels. With the known tank geometry, the level can be calculated. Advantages of ultrasonic level transmitter. Non-contact maintenance free measurement. Measurement is unaffected by dielectric constant, density or humidity. Unaffected by buildup due to the self-cleaning effects of the senses. Disadvantages of ultrasonic level transmitter. High pressure may introduce uncertainty in the level measurements. Vapor, vacuum or temperature gradient can influence the speed of sound. Have our blocking distance close to the sensor where they cannot measure reliably. Guided Microwave Level Transmitter The Guided Microwave Level Transmitter is based upon the principle of Time Domain Reflectometry TDR, which is an electrical measurement technique. The Guided Microwave Level Transmitter are typically installed at the top of a tank with a probe, often called waveguide, extending inside the tank and contacting the product inside. The sensor sends a concentrated radar pulse down along a cable or rod probe, and that pulse hits the product and reflects back up the probe to the sensor. Electronics integrated into sensor then use the pulse travel time to calculate distance. The distance correlates to a level measurement. Advantages of guided microwave level transmitter. Unaffected by fluctuation of pressure, temperature or density. Setup is simple and safe. Can measure the interface of liquid separation layers. Disadvantages of guided microwave level transmitter. Susceptible to corrosion. Low sensitivity to foam and buildup, which may affect the measurements. Record high noise levels during operations. Radar fill level transmitter. A radar fill level transmitter 
measures the distance between the transmitter installation point and the surface of a process material located at a distance. It measures the distance by measuring the time of flight of a traveling wave. The radar type level transmitter has a transreceiver that sends the electromagnetic waves signal and receives the signal after reflecting from the object. Thus, the transmitter measures the time of flight. The basic working principles of the radar fill transmitter is sending the microwave to the vessel or the tanks and knowing the time it takes to travel to and fro from the level filled in the vessel or the tank. Difference between radar filled level transmitter and guided microwave level filled transmitter is that the guided wave use waveguide probes to guide the electromagnetic wave to and from the process, while radar filled send electromagnetic waves out through open space to reflect off the process material. The radar filled device suffer much more signal less than guided wave radar devices due to the natural tendency of electromagnetic radiation to disperse over space. Waveguides combat this signal loss by channeling the radio energy along a straight line path. Advantages of radar filled level transmitter provide a top-down direct measurements as it measures the distance to the surface. It can be used in liquids, sludges, slurries and some solids. Good for corrosive and dirty environment. Disadvantages of radar filled level transmitter can only measure a gas liquid interface but not a liquid liquid interface. If the surface is turbulent either from agitation, product blending or splashes, more of the signal is lost. Obstruction in the tank, such as pipes, strengthening bars, and agitator can cause false echoes.